Hey y'all, it's me, Lindsay, and today I'm going to be doing a um, empties video with you. This is where I go through all the products I managed to use up in the last few months, and I'll tell you my reviews on them. Now, I didn't start them all within the last few months. This is just what I happened to empty. So, this is called an empties, and it's a good way to have speed reviews. I got two big bags, one big Ulta bag and half of a Publix bag full of used up products. So let's go. We're gonna just do this randomly. Oh, I wanted to talk about this. The Febreze plug in the watermelon scent. These are really good. They come in a two pack, one size Febreze and one size watermelon. These are really potent and stuff like that. I usually don't like plug-ins, but these plug-ins are really good. This is a shampoo and conditioner that I used up, the Pureology Strength Cure Shampoo and Conditioner. This is a really, really good brand. It's pretty pricey, but I'm a cosmetologist, so I can get it for cheaper, so I do so. This is my favorite hand sanitizer, by Bath and Body Works. It's the antibacterial moisturizing hand sanitizer in the scent Champagne Toast. I have already gotten a backup of that. So everything so far I would repurchase. This is the Bath and Body Works sweater weather body wash. It has fragrance notes of sun, crisp apple, autumn leaves, and orchard woods. I would rebuy this if they had this right now. They only have it out for the fall and winter, but I still wear the sweater weather almost every week because that's just my signature scent. And I pair it with Versace Dylan Blue. It's a great scent combination. This is the Joyco Defy Damage Shampoo and Conditioner. I would purchase this again too. This is a really great line and it's cruelty free and uh, and it is a good, if you want to spend a little bit less money than Olaplex, this is a good bond building, protective, color safe shampoo. This is so old. This is like years old. I just found it randomly. This is the Marc Jacobs Extra Shot Foundation in the shade Light 130. Marc Jacobs isn't even around more anymore, but if you could repurchase this, I would. So, I finished the foundation. I finished a cinnamon spice vanilla white barn candle from Bath and Body Works. And this is one of my favorite scents. I have already repurchased. This is the Eucalyptus Spearmint Moisturizing Body Wash from Bath and Body Works. Would repurchase if it was on sale only. This is the Essence Lash Princess. I've used this for years, but I've come to terms with the fact that this makes my lashes look a little bit clumpier than I would like. It is no longer my Holy Grail mascara. I'm trying out a new one. Out new ones so far. I like the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, and the ColourPop Act Natural is what I've got on my lashes now, and I like that. I just like more natural lashes nowadays than I did before. So that's the first bag gone. Now what's in this bag? We go. This has been like uh, two and a half months. We go through a lot of shampoo. If you can't tell, this is the Biolage Ultra Hydra Source shampoo and conditioner um shampoo and conditioning balm this stuff is awesome it smells really good it gives me nostalgia for working at jc penny salon for like six or seven years um because we use matrix a lot would repurchase only if it was on sale this is one i'm still using but i wanted to talk about it this is the glow recipe plum plump hyaluronic cream it is a creamy gel moisturizer that melts into skin quickly leaving a refreshing dewy glow that is the best way to describe it i read the first thing and it's it's not 
fragrance. It doesn't smell like fruit or anything like that. It's a really good one. I would repurchase, but I'm not out yet. I just wanted to talk about it. This is the Tree Hut Desert Haze Scrub. I would always repurchase Tree Hut. I've got some more different scents in my tub now, so I would repurchase. Pretty much all these are like my favorites. This is the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Ointment Body Spray. Okay, this is like Aquaphor, but in a can you shake up and it squirts out Aquaphor lotion, kind of like Silly String, but then you rub it in. Um, it's awesome, especially on days you're like sweaty and you want something more cooling because this comes out of the can pretty cold. I think I got a little bit less. Or you could just leave it like that and it leaves a nice glowy sheen to your... It's getting everywhere, but it leaves a nice... It's really nice. I love Aquaphor and this stuff in the body spray. I like better than their traditional lotion because it's quicker. It's good for that lazy girl moisturization after the shower. This is the EOS Pomegranate Raspberry Shave Cream. I will always use this. This is a uh, this is affordable. This is great. This is my favorite shave cream. I love this pomegranate raspberry scent in particular. I can't really smell any of the other scents of them, but. Anyways, that was all for my empties videos, my love. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was great for you. Sorry about the unmade met bed in the background. I never make my bed because my kitty cats like to sleep on them. There's currently not a kitty cat on there the now, but there was before I started this. And I hope you guys really enjoy everything and your life is going great. Until next time, bye-bye.